Hey, how you doing? This is Flavio. Uh, we're here gonna make a Caesar salad today. We have a couple ingredients that are not typical in your regular Caesar salad, um, but we're gonna make it work. Um, right now, we have some romaine lettuce hearts here that we're gonna cut up usually into uh, inch long slices. We have some bacon over here. Uh, this is uh, chopped up, roughly chopped, um, fresh bacon. Some croutons that we made ourselves. It's basically just a little bit of um, diced up bread with uh, some herbs, salt, pepper, oil, vinegar. And what's not traditional that we're gonna use today is a Caesar vinaigrette. Usually we'd go for the Caesar dressing, um, which has a little bit of anchovies. Some people don't like anchovies, a vinaigrette. Um, still gives you that Caesar taste uh, while excluding the anchovies. So I'm gonna start off by putting my gloves on because food safety is first and key. So I'm gonna start off with that. What I'm gonna show you today is a very easy way of making the Caesar salad where you don't have to go into uh, culinary school or YouTube to find out how to do it. It's very simple. Like I said, you're gonna start off by cutting inch long slices of the romaine lettuce. I'm gonna get a nice amount because these are pretty small and you won't yield a lot if you don't cut the whole thing through. I, I, don't, I don't go all the way to the end because the white part of the lettuce becomes a little bittery a little uh, unpleasant to the palate. I just don't like it, so I'm just gonna put that over here. Secondly, we're gonna get a bowl. I use this because I like to mix my vinaigrette or my dressing in with my, in my salad before actually putting it on the plate. Um, it has a nicer look to it, nicer uh, feel when you're gonna eat it because you don't have to mix it and just makes it more convenient. So here we're gonna add the vinaigrette. It's about a half a cup for one serving. Uh, I'm gonna use my tongs to mix this up real nice. There we go. You wanna make sure that uh, all the leaves are completely covered in this vinaigrette or if you choose to use dressing, uh, you want to make sure that you don't have clumps of dressing or clumps of the vinaigrette on just one leaf and then another leaf that's completely dry. So you want to give it a nice toss in there. Um, this vinaigrette that I'm using already has Parmesan cheese, which is a typical ingredient in your Caesar salad. Um, so I I'm not gonna use Parmesan cheese. I, I already have it in my vinaigrette. And I don't wanna overpower this Caesar dressing with the, uh, with, the, with the cheese. Once we have that on the plate, get your croutons. Drop just a couple of them in there. You don't need a lot unless you like a lot of croutons, and your bacon. Simple stuff. Drop it in there. Voila. Caesar salad. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Chef Alex here, and today we're making Caesar dressing. We're making Caesar salad. What Caesar salad is a very great dish, very, light, very popular amongst a lot of Florida restaurants. So today we'll be making a little spin on it. We have romaine lettuce, which will I'll show you how to prepare it. Caesar dressing, uh, your pecorino parmigiano reginado. And I like to give it extra spin and much more depth of flavor is roasted sun-dried tomatoes. So here we have a nice beautiful head of romaine lettuce. What we're gonna do, we're gonna cut the bottom and I went ahead actually, I took off a couple of leaves to make it nice and beautiful. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna cut the bottom 
and you're going to split it in half, okay? To have a nice inner center. If you have any leaves that's fallen off and it's not pretty, you can set them aside. Uh, then, what we're going to do, we're going to take baguette, French baguette, French style baguette, and we're going to cut it on a bias to make our croutons, or I should say, crostinis. You want to do about a quarter of a inch, and you want to slice it on a bias with the serrated knife in order to ensure nice finesse. Uh, what I like to do with uh, crostinis in general, I like to give them extra flavor. So here we have our Parmesan original, which I will shape on top of this with my microplane. The reason why I'm doing this is to give it extra flavor and as well as better presentation. Because as you know, we all eat with our eyes first. After I do this, what I'm gonna do, I actually wanted to, you can use a little bit of either olive oil or blended oil or any other type of oil that you prefer. I honestly prefer to use, uh, I like nutty flavors. So I I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of uh, hazelnut oil on it to give it a little more caramelization as well as much more depth of flavor. Because when it comes down to cooking, it's all about layering the flavors. And to top that off, I have some Spanish paprika that I'm gonna that I'm going to lightly dust on top to give the richness and color, as well as it will give extra smokiness for it. Once this is done, what you want to do is place it either on the sheet tray or sizzle platter and bake it off in the oven for about five to 10 minutes, 350 preheated oven. That way it caramelizes and gets nice crunch on top. When it's done, it will come out looking like this. All the cheese is melted. You have nice color contrast. It's perfect bite. All right, so let's move to, let's move to execution of our lettuce. So what you wanna do, you wanna lightly drizzle it with either olive oil or hazelnut oil. I prefer hazelnut oil. You wanna, dr you wanna drizzle it lightly, that way it starts to give that caramelization aspect when you put it either on a grill or on the saute pan. Honestly, I prefer grill, it gives it extra, extra more flavor. Once you do this, you, you lay it on the grill, you let it get nice and char. You don't wanna go too hard, yet once it's done, it will have this beautiful look. And this is exactly what you're looking for. You're looking for to, you're looking for to intensify the flavor. Because as you know, lettuce is mainly water, so when you do that, all the excess water gets evaporated and it even concentrates the flavor of lettuce. When it comes down to as well, the Caesar dressing, it's a traditional Caesar dressing. As you see, I went ahead and made it. Uh, it's very light, creamy. Uh, you, you can add anchovies or not add anchovies. I know a lot of people like that extra flavor on anchovies, so they, they put more. That's what I went in ahead and I love anchovy flavor. It stands out for me. So I went ahead actually, I add more anchovies to it. So now what we're going to do, we're going to assemble it and plate it up. So what you have, you have your nicely and beautifully charred lettuce. You gotta set it up like this in order to enhance the visual presentation. Uh, you put your croutons, okay? And a lot of people like to just shred their, or buy the shredded cheese, or just microplane it to make it very small. Quite frankly, I prefer to buy a big blocks because you can, mot you can use it with whatever and you actually last way, way longer than this. So you have your block, 
of cheese, which is much better than having to buy a shredder. Uh, what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to drizzle our homemade Caesar dressing. And don't be scared about the dressing, because remember, you have a lot of lettuce. Now, what you're going to do, you can freshly shave the our Parmesan Reginado. Once again, if you're a cheese lover, don't be scared. You can add more cheese. As I say, love is, has to be cheesy. And for extra oomph, I prefer, I prefer to use uh, sun-dried tomatoes. Quite frankly, you can make them at home. It's very simple. You take your Roma tomatoes, you cut them in half, or actually you can cut them in quarter, and you put them in the, in the oven for, for about 30 to 40 minutes to dry them out to take out all the excess moisture. But before you put them in there, you put a little bit of salt, pepper, a little bit of oregano, a little bit of olive oil on top of them, and just uh, roast them off and they come out great. It's a great addition to the dish. It gives you that balance between sweet and if you like spicy, what you can do, you can actually add a little bit of uh, sriracha into the mix with olive oil and drizzle on that and then you have a spicy version of your sun-dried tomatoes. So this is basically what would, would, you, would, would you make. At the end of the day, visualization and the way you see it is that's what matters and when it comes down to plating you can play different ways and they'll come up you your brain would automatically assume it's better and better and better